there this is Jen welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about something that you just might not have time for and that's okay so stick with me and let's have that discussion right here on Garden Jen's Journey Okay, so there's some things we just might not have time for. And one of them is being meticulous when it comes to weeding our gardens. And that's okay. I mean, seriously, it's okay. I'm going to show you my garden and what it looks like. And sometimes you just have to be okay with, you know, I didn't have time to get to it right now. So let's head out into my garden or my disaster area, however you want to see it. So today is kind of a dreary day, but we need the rain, so can't complain much. And I don't think the sun is blinding you today. But I wanted to take you out here to the garden to show you something that I know really a lot of people, especially new gardeners, stress about. Here in my garden, we were practicing the Back to Eden concept. And it works great when you have the time and ability to get all the materials you need to keep putting the mulch down and keep doing uh, everything that you need to do for back to eating gardening. It takes a lot of work to keep it going to make sure that you have a pretty weedless garden. So needless to say, because we haven't had time to continually put down the mulch and, and keep everything heavily mulched, weeds have taken hold and it's okay because uh, weeds are part of nature too some of these weeds are medicinal some of them are edible some are both but they all can be a pain in the butt especially if you're trying to keep your garden nice and clean and meticulous and you're worried about the weeds competing with your main crops i know how stressful that is and i'm here to tell you it's okay if you don't have time to get to it right away, it's fine. Take another day, take a half an hour, an hour, when you do have time and tackle a bed or tackle two. Whatever you have time for, because every little bit helps. But let me show you what my garden looks like right now because I simply haven't had time to get out here and deal with these weeds. All right, so this is my rose bed area. And you can see I have a lot of weeds starting to come in here. Um, I have some that are here on purpose, others that are really starting to come in here. You see I got some grass. <clears throat> Over here, see I've got grass growing here. And these are easy enough to pull out, but I haven't had time. You see I got uh, other weeds i even got containers and things that i need to pick up and put away but again i haven't had time so my garden's not all neat and tidy this is a beautiful trellis of old mother stellar beans look at the size of these bean leaves aren't they gorgeous but uh anyways yeah being real with y'all i haven't had time so I've got thorns and thistles and things. I've got some dandelions growing, which is perfect. I use those anyways. Some more grass. See all the quack grass that's coming in off the pasture here. This is very hard to keep up on the the quack grass. See all that grass. stuff growing here because the things I planted here didn't grow so just being real with y'all that not every gardener you can see all the weeds back there against my hops and all these not every gardener has 24 hours a day to dedicate to weeding 
their gardens. So I just wanted to be real with you. I wanted to be transparent. You know, I deal with some health issues and I also run two businesses plus the household. So I'm extremely busy. And on days that are nice and shiny, it might be so flipping hot you can't be outside. It's been really, really muggy, like 85, 90 degrees. And it's been so humid. If you come outside, you're drowning basically in the thickness of the air. So it's very hard to come out and get the weeding done in conditions like that. So um, just being real with you guys that even I struggle with getting my garden under control. And that's where the heavy mulch system comes into play. If you have some type of barrier down, um, whether it's a straw like Ruth Stout or Back to Eden, which uses uh, wood chips and things like that, and you can get that barrier down, a really thick barrier, it will help prevent a lot of weeds from coming in. And we were doing that for uh, several years. It's just last year and this year with COVID and everything, we haven't had the time or the resources to get our wood chips, to get the materials, to put down that thick layer on our garden to keep those weeds out. So now my garden is growing a lot more than what I purposely planted here. And that's okay. And that's what I want to tell you guys is it's okay. If you can't get your garden weeded 100% meticulous, it's fine. Unless you're trying to have some magazine and be the cover of a magazine for the most meticulous garden, don't worry about it, you know? Or unless you live in some pristine area where your neighbors have their nose in your business, don't worry about it. Get to your weeding when you can. And it's okay, you know? Um, not all of us have all the time in the world to spend out in our gardens weeding it. Some of us have the time, but maybe we don't have the health. So I just wanted to shout that out to you guys today because I think it's a very important message. I mean, you look around YouTube, you look around the magazines, um, you might see your friend's gardens and they're meticulous. They have not a single weed in them. And then you go back to your own and there's weeds, maybe one, two or a few, or maybe you're like my garden, there's weeds everywhere. Don't stress, you'll get to it. Bite that elephant one piece at a time and eventually, it's going to be gone. I hope you enjoyed this video today and it gave you some encouragement because that's what I'm here to do. Give it a thumbs up if it did and make sure to share it with your other friends who might stress about how many weeds might be in their garden because it's okay. It really is. It's not the end of the world. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey, even the unpleasant trees of a weed filled garden. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you along. Until next time, everybody, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.